today's the day. I've been putting it off for a while. Because today's the day I'm fitting the snorkel on the Challenger. Which involves a lot of... A bit of... Probably some of... And hopefully some splashing at the end. So, as with any snorkel fit, fit out, the first thing you do before you cut anything or drill anything is always just double check that the template, which is here, matches the snorkel and also matches against the car. Because you don't want to be cutting holes and find the template itself. So that's the first thing we're going to do today. Once I've done that, then I can make, think about making a start. So what I do is, first things first, pick a hole, pick one of the holes that are just fairly easy to find, and then work backwards from there. So we'll start with this one. That one goes approximately there. So then the next one, we should line up, should be there. That's pretty good. And from here, I've got this one here, pretty much there. I've got an extra hole there, you must remember not to use that one. The next one's there, which is there, and that's it. Okay, so I need to not use one of the holes that's missing. This is the one for a template for a, a Triton, so there may be a few variations in the vehicle, so um, I better check. Make a cross on that one. So working through the instructions, first job we're going to do is remove the inner guard or the mud guard from the inside. So I'm just about to start pulling all that apart and then I think the next job on there is to loosen off the clamps for the air box. Yeah, so we've got to remove the air box and then carry on from there. So inner guards removed, removed the expansion bottle, took the air intake thing off, and took the cover off the air filter, and it's got to attach a bracket now to the expansion bolts for the relocation of that and see what the next step is okay and then I sort of rerouting cooling hoses and stuff before we start drilling holes okay air box is removed coolant bottle is relocated to the back of the engine bay that took some finding I must admit but it does go right at the back there it's a bit of a tight squeeze but I think I've got a bigger battery in there which probably doesn't help um, so now I've got to start drilling I've got to go and find my hole saws and cut some holes the bit I wasn't looking forward to oh well it's time wish me luck Keeping the saw nice and square, aligning it up with the hole, and then just gently. <laughs> there we have it. Going to run around the inside of the hole with the Dremel just to remove any burrs, and then I'm going to put some paint on it as well just to stop it um, corroding. As you can probably see, I've just applied some paint to the inside of the guard just to protect it on. I've used some stone guard, which is 
sort of fairly hard and protective, so that should be good. All right, guys. The next step is to um, get some thread lock and put the um, screws into there, so they're nice and tight. And then um, we'll lock those in, let it go off. And then we can start thinking about the outside of the. I like to put a lot on just to be on the safe side. The last thing you want is it vibrating loose. <laughs> Screwing them in. One more. Last one. I think the next step is going to be putting the template on the car and drilling the outside. I'm going to cut the template out fairly loosely to start with and then offer it up to the car and make sure it all works fine. Got a couple of true points marked on it so they're the sort of points you can't mess up or miss. Because if you mark them out or get those bits wrong, the whole bits, the whole template doesn't sit right. So, got to make sure you get those right. And the paper always tears when you cut them. Every single one, no matter what brand, it always tears. Okay. Right. <laughs> Same cut here. There's some cut lines at the bottom here just to make sure it all works up. Okay, get some masking tape and put it on. Then we kind of get a first sort of rough line first. The good thing with mask, if you use a good masking tape, you can always reposition it if you need to without causing too many dramas. So first line, follow in the top of the guard, tuck that in should be there and that's making sure the rest of the lines will follow everywhere else it's not quite right so let's pull that off a little bit Always just take your time, don't rush them. If you rush it, you'll come out wrong. See where we coat it? it sort of moulds around a bit. There we go. If you're not happy about it, you can always peel it off and bring it back. 100% happy where the back end is. I think it's going to have to come back about a centimetre. Oh, so, good thing with masking tape is you can remove and reposition. This is the bit you need to really take your time on. Because you don't want to get this bit wrong.
a bit close, but. Visual check with the snorkel to make sure it all looks about right. So holes are there. They all reasonably good. Okay, it's sitting roughly where it should be. So that's good. Good sign. Now some kits always say to do this, some don't. This one does say to do this, which is good. Center punch all your holes first. It'll make the drilling step a lot easier. Um, it also stops the drill sliding around a little bit so you get straight into the right spot. And this is where you hope your measurements were right. <laughs> too soon it started raining um, I've just finished everything's all bolted up and it's on I'm quite happy with it to be honest it um, looks quite good seems to fit well I've forgotten how much of a pain in the backside snorkels were um, but hey you got to make sure they're sealed up properly and fitting properly and everything like that to make sure they all go so yeah I'm happy with it, it looks pretty good it took me a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to, to do the install but um because there's a little bit a little bit fiddly in the inner guard so um yeah but um, other than that i'm pretty happy with it we'll see how it goes um water bottles all look relocated everything's all in position where it should be so happy days so just wanted to do a quick follow-up um after i've just fitted the snorkel. Uh, it's been on for a couple of weeks now, so I just wanted to just go through a little bit about the install that maybe didn't come through on the video. Um, installed it myself, obviously. It is a challenge to install the snorkel on your own. You've got to be pretty confident of drilling in the right places, etc., and getting it in properly and lining it all up. Um, certainly not one for the faint-hearted, especially those big cult drills holes that you go through the guards and through your door pillar. So just want a quick show close up. So as you can see, the profile's pretty good. I quite like the shape of the Airflow one. It's very similar to several of the other brands that are out there. Um, it fits pretty well. Um, the snorkel ram head is pretty big on this. I did notice a little bit of whistling, but I've repositioned the head a little bit. So hopefully that'll fix that as well. Um, so that should all be good. So yeah, the side of the truck's starting to shape shape, um, all good. A couple of interesting locations for parts under the bonnet. So one of the surprising things with the install was the relocation of the expansion bottle. Now most snorkels I've ever installed, the expansion bottle stays roughly in the same area. 
not on this one it goes all the way over here to the back of the engine bay which is a little bit surprising a little bit strange comes with all the brackets though so I guess it kind of makes sense I need to tidy up my wiring here I've got an extra fuse box that I'm gonna to have to mount probably here somewhere um, so that'll tidy up a lot of that wiring and shorten it and yeah so the snorkel comes through the guard there and into here I don't know if you can see if I can show you down there yep Resprayed that area with stone, gu stone chip guard as well, so that won't um, stop it corroding. I'm pretty happy with it. So, big thanks to the guys at Four Wheel Drive Systems for selling me the snorkel. Um, pretty, ha really happy with it, and really happy with the service I got from them as well. So. I'd definitely say give those guys a shout if you want any bits so there you have it that's the snorkel installed onto the challenger looks good hopefully it works well um, it's all waterproofed off and sealed up so can't wait to give it a good test on the tracks which will probably be when we do the next trip <laughs> Chat, 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 chat,